Hi, welcome back to Guardian Angel Resin Creations. Today I'm going to do what I call a starburst. I am using Julie Cutts' um, Cascade Mulch. Um, please excuse the noise in the background, but I'm trying to drown out some noise from another yard because I do, do do my resin outside. So um, I'm using Urban Crafter. It's a one-to-one. I buy it from a company in Melbourne um, and I have just separated mine into five little containers. I've had it sitting for um, about 15 minutes because it's a little bit chilly outside today. Um, so I've decided on my colours. I'm actually drawing my colours from a cup I bought my sister because we like to buy each other just comical stuff. So I thought I would make a little a little coaster for us. So today I'm using coral gold, reddish gold, um, I'm using cardamom yellow, um, scarlet, hopefully these are in focus, and then I'm using yellow okra. So I will mix these up and then I will come back. I thought I'd quickly show, much, show you how much I was using in this. So I've got equal parts in every single cup and I'm going to use like a little spoon. I think I would have got these probably in something that I bought that had mica powders in it. They're just like a little spoon. And then we're going to use the gold. I'm going to do the same amount or try and do the same amount on the little spoon there okay put our lids on because i have a habit of spilling them now with our acrylics this is montmartre give it a really good shake and normally i just give it a bit of a squeeze just to get the ink up into it now i haven't used really used these before so i'm going to do one drop because with the cheaper ones you know you do quite a few drops so i'm not going to do that this time now that's my push so i'm going to leave that there because i've got three pushes so give that a squeeze again make sure it's got it up in there so okay one drop Um, we'll see how we go with them. I might put more in these ones and then I'm going to do a drop of the yellow okra into my push. So I'll mix these up and then we'll come back. Okay, I've got all these mixed up. So what I'm going to do is we will just put the, this, the color into our push. So give it a shake. So I've ended up putting three drops in, in each of these and I've just left with the one, the one little spoon of these because they're quite light and we do know that mica does drop. So I'm going to just try and do one little drop in there and just see how we go with that little drop. Make sure you're in. Like it's, I think it's just going to just slightly colour it and see it up the cup hopefully so it's just giving it like a little goldy yellowy goldy colour scrape it off okay so I will pour these in and then we'll do our white. So I'm going to use the red first. Right, make sure it's all stirred up. Scrape it off. Um, I'm just going to get my little thing over here just to drop my spoons on. Actually, no, I need it, don't I? I'm just going to 
hope I didn't put my head in there then. And just drizzle it around the mulch. So I do have equal parts in all five of my little little containers. Oh, so sorry about the noise. I've waited all morning to try and do this and then all of a sudden I get noise. But it's always the way. Okay, scrape that in. Obviously a little bit more on the other side. But it's all going to move anyway. Hopefully. <gasps> that could have ended up badly. Okay. Stick the stick there. That. And then we are going to go with the yellow. So I try and do mica powder. Then our ink colours, then mica powder, then our ink, and then a bit of our push. So we pour that in there. Hopefully we are going to work today because it's only 18 degrees outside today and I haven't got my heater mat. At the minute I want to make sure that my cabinet top is totally hardened um, it hasn't been it's been nearly 30 days since I did the top but I don't really want to apply any heat to it for the moment so I will try and get something to sit my little heater mat on in winter so all right there we go that one's out and then we are going to go our gold There we go. I did have my um, my resin sitting on a tiny little little cup heater for a little while, just while I was stirring, just to um, thin it down a little bit while I was stirring it, because it is a extremely thick one to one. And if I can find the link for the Aussie girls, I will, or, and boys, I will put the link up for Riot Art. And that's where I get my Urban Crafter from. I find it good for um, putting on the top of coasters and things like that because it, it is a very hard resin. I've had it on a, a tabletop that I, I, I repaired and um it doesn't scratch it's wonderful right so finish mixing that then just pour that in on it there we go don't know that i should have done the two golds together but might have stuffed that up slightly but i'm sure that big being make mica powder they will all Go on top, underneath each other, do hopefully what they need to do. Once it sets up a little bit, I will put it into my little tiny um, curing machine that I've got. Just to make sure that it doesn't, like that, that it actually sets. Right, so there we go. We've got that. Now I am going to just... Do a little torch. Excuse the clicking, but I don't like to do the full on torch when I haven't got my mold full. Now we we'll give that a little bit of a stir and we try and do a third and a third and a third. So we're just going to dump a bit. And then we'll give it a bit of a torch. Now, while that's 
fiddling around with itself. Oh, I meant to turn this upside down. Oh well, it'll be right. So I've normally done this with um, uh, with a paste. So I'm going to try the lovely Julie's Bloom today and see how we go. So I want probably four drops. Okay, so I've doubled. All right, we've got five in there. So I have like doubled what would you what you would normally put in for an actual bloom because when I do this I actually have it quite opaque. Um oh, actually that's pretty good. Might maybe hopefully not too many drops. Yep, I think that is beautiful. Right, we're going to seal this up again. Put the lid back on. Give a bit of wipe that up there. Okay, just make sure it's all mixed in. Because I really don't want to go to the effort of doing this and then having a big white blob in it. But you will see there a lot of you don't like the white in the center this is i have designed this to have white in the center and sometimes it turns out like a little flower in it so hopefully we will be good with this one so my little girl here and i'm just going to pour into her the um the bags seem to fit very well into into these little little ladies that i've got here go okay. it's a little bit easier than a cup it's a little bit sturdier i will show you my lady when i have got this all out right there we go move my sticks out the way all my cups in a pile now make sure i haven't got resin on my hand before i touch my little lady oh and you as usual i forgot to get out my scissors right so here's my little lady that i normally use that i sit my bag in right pull that down Get um, a bit of paper towel. Just wipe up my mess. And just grab my scissors. Luckily they're close. Now, sorry about the bang. Okay. Now I'm going to give it a bit of a, bit of, of a torch. Cut this off. I just want probably the very end of it. Hopefully that's not too much. Sprinch that into my hand. I think that'll be fine. So what I do is I go up, oops, up and down and across and then across. And then up and down it's not an overly thick line and then back in and then we do another pour a little bit in there we go a little bit more maybe yep There we go. Now, give it a torch. I've turned my torch down a bit too far. Got a bug. Always the way. Sorry, got a bug. Now, we squeeze that up a bit again. 
It's always harder when you haven't got the little endy bit. Right, squeeze him out. Now I want to go between, whoops, from the center, between the lines. Follow down, then down, and then that. Okay, now I'm not doing it overly thick. Might end up with four dumps, maybe. So, do a little bit more of a dump. There. Yeah. And then I'm going to torch. And then we're going to bring it back into the center again. We're going to... Okay. Wipe that off. Then we are going to go like this. That was a bit thick. Follow our little lines. And the outside in. They are quite thin lines. Okay. Now we are going to dump a bit more. Oh, torch. Then dump a bit more. And then we are going to come back in with our line, our lines. And we are just going to drop that. We are going to start again. Oops. And go around again. I know you're all thinking, oh my god, what is she doing? There we go. It does get a little bit hard to see in the end what you're doing. Missed a little bit there. Back into the centre. Now, I am going to put a little tiny bit more because I can see my mould is not full yet. And then, God, lost count. I'll have to re watch the video how many dumps I've done. And write this all down. Okay, squeeze it up there. Have an air hole, squeeze it up there. Right, there's only actually 20 mils of white. 20 grams of white in there so really not enough not a lot so I'm gonna find some space in some of these and just go up across might go down like that till I use it all hopefully I don't get blobbies other than in the centre. Um, not really enough to do anything with, but we shall give it a little go. Mm, up there. And I do expect it to be, have white on the edges. That's how I've designed it. So we just get this little bit of white off the actual edge. Now my mold is just about full. So I am going
going to just move that center. Just, oops, pour that in. Don't want to overflow my mold. What have we got? Five or six dumps. There we go. There we go. Right. Mm. Fit a little bit more in. I have a little bit more in my cup. So why not? Because they are better when they're domed, aren't they? Yeah. Why not? Let's try. Let's see how we go. Am I domed? Um, I am domed beautifully. So I used 200 and about 210 grams. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a torch. I am not going to put anything in the center because that's not how I have designed this one. And we will just see what happens, shall we? So we'll be back when it's cured. Okay, I'm just going to quickly cover it up, put it to bed, and we'll be back for the unmold. So it's still a little bit warm, so we're just going to take it out. It comes out really easy. Now we're going to turn it over and we'll just see how we go. Didn't move very much, but I don't expect that. So, right. Let's see how we go. Oh, I didn't have the white heavy enough. So it's turned out a bit too, too orange. That's, I was hoping for a redder effect with a gold in it. That's a little bit disappointing actually. So I will have to make the, the white a little bit darker. So, but we'll just, Get our cup on there and see how it looks. Doesn't look too bad, but I still might redo it. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think. And thank you so much. And I'll catch you next time.